okay now let us see a new topic which is down payments received as you know down payments is actually a deposit which is given by a customer when placing the order so let me just illustrate this with an example let's say the invoice amount is US dollars 1000 but the customer pays a down payment of 200 okay then he will settle the balance of 800 later on is 800 which means 1000 minus 200 so let us see how we can post a down payment of 200 against the invoice amount of 1000 just take note here is that um, for some companies the down payment cannot be posted to the the default record account our default record account for customer is this let me just show you default record account for all the customers is trade debtors ok you can also show from here FD03 I choose go to company code data see the default account account is this let me just copy here right However, the the accounting principle says the if the customer pays a down payment of two hundred, then the down payment amount shouldn't be posted to this recon account because otherwise we cannot differentiate the actual sales and the down payment amount it will be lumped up under the default recon account which is this for example the customer pays uh, $200 debit sorry credit customer and debit bank right however Journal postings for customer down payments is this. However, if we do this, then the 200 which is posted to customer account will be posted to this account here, default account account. We don't want this to happen because otherwise this uh, total outstanding for the what you call that uh, trade trade debtors account will be reduced accordingly. All right, so we don't want this to happen. For example, let's say this default account account has got a balance of ten thousand, which means as if we post the down payment of two hundred to the 
credit side of this recon account then it will become 9800 and we won't know whether this is actually a customer down payment or normal payment because any credit entries to the trade uh, what you call the debtors account can also be a customer payment okay so based on the credit entries we cannot really determine whether it's a customer payment or down payment so therefore the what the accounting principle suggests is that if the customer pays a down payment then that amount should be stored in a different GL account other than this okay so we need to create a new GL account to store the customer down payments okay let us see how to do this we need to create a GL account first I'm going to choose from the debtors account yeah this is a debtors account right then I go for 2000 2004 and create Okay, current assets. Oh, this is already used, right? So I need to go to the next available number, which would be Sun two zero zero four six two zero zero seven. I need to use this to use six seven create balance sheet account current assets down payment received received Okay. Current assets. Me choose a current assets account. You can choose this. so this is going to be our down payment received account where the 200 will be stored without disturbing the recon account of this that's two now when the customer pays let us go and post an entry document ok go to others not here sorry here down payment under financial account general ledger account receivable documentary down payment choose this ok down payment enter down payment now it's it will look like a uh, normal invoice entry screen with some changes ok account customer account you need to enter 50001 bank account is a normal bank account we have cash in bank and the amount has to be entered here which is 200 ok now look at this special zero indicator if I post uh, amount now, how will the system know that it should not use the default recon account, which is defined for this, which is 2003? The default recon account, which is defined for that customer, is this, right? 
how can I tell the system that the transaction transaction amount of 200 should not be posted to the default recon account that is using this indicator that's why we need to use the indicator to say that this particular transaction should not be posted to a default recon account alright now we need to configure create an indicator for this purpose let us go to IMG you see this uh, this is under financial accounting account receivable account receivable and payable business transaction down payment receive and this define reconciliation for down payments go here now all these special gear indicators are defined already so therefore you can see it here for example A A is down payment B is bill of exchanges all are different B here see all of it are coming from here C ok now we need to click one for our down payment you can use an indicator which is, does not exist here let's use a b c d x shall we use something like um, s is not here right so let us use s then we name it down payment received down payment received oh already exist so which is not existing now as yes, it's already exist almost all existing A B C D E F G H I J K it's just a one alphabet uh, indicator so I use one two three four five six seven maybe I can use seven seven is not defined yet let's use seven Yep. Use only one character for that. Okay. Now you don't have to enter anything here. Just go to accounts. You have to save it first. Yes. Set of accounts is done. Enter. You just call up the recon account that we created just now especially for down payment receive this one 20007 just put it here sorry the other way around you shouldn't mention the you must call the default recon account here default recon account for the customer is this right then here we need to mention the alternative recon account which is our special jail account specially defined to post the down payment received this is how you should look so this is something like a mapping table we are telling the system that any postings which we route to 20003 account which is a default recon account for this customer account should be routed to another G special GL account which is this which we have specially created for down payment purposes ok when you see 7 here when you save here now you can use a special GL indicator 7 the 7 will appear here so when you see 7 down payment receive then the system will know which uh, destination GL account to post the transaction to let's check it now changes have been made go back I'm going to put 7 here alright let me show you now press enter just press enter Oh, it has been defined it's not been defined as a recon account the 207 so it's not a big issue just go there 
FS00 come to here change it and change to customers because this special GL account which is created specially for down payment received postings should be defined as a recon account for customers only then the system will accept it so we have done it go back now put 7 then press enter now ok I think we have to refresh we have to go out and refresh only then the effects will take place ok now we have to put customer account this is a customer account special gl indicator 7 bank account cash in bank amount is 200 press enter enter again alright now we can go through just put 200 again for the second screen now you simulate see this before we simulate you see this even though we post it to this customer let me just show you again ok Rightfully, rightfully, this 200 should be posted to this account, right? This is a default account account 20003, but it will be posted to this account instead. Let me just show you this. Right now, let me create another one. What will happen is I'll just pause it for a moment. Okay, see this picture here. But we are posting something to customer 5001, which is supposed to be posted to default account account, which is 2003. But because of the usage of the special GL indicator 7, it is being routed to alternate record account, which is 2007. This is what's happening if you are lost. Now let us simulate. Oh, this is still blue. We need to enter the due date. Just double click on it and enter. Now it's turned to black, so it's good. All right, let's simulate the GL. Right now, at the entry level, it posted to two two the two hundred amount is still posted to customer B, which is five zero zero one. But in the background the posting will not go to the GL account 2003 which is the default recon account let me show you let me just simulate this one just press enter it will route to 2007 because of we have used a special GL indicator of 7 see yeah if not because of the special GL indicator it will go to the default icon account which is 2003 go back here see this posting key 7 the 7 means the special indicator that we have used So let us post this. Post it. Now, if you look at a double entry, what has happened now is that I need to open another one. Let me drop the double entry. Okay, see this? This is a posting that we have achieved. The customer account. The special GL account this is called a special GL account 2007 that we created has been credited and the bank account has been debited the default account account 
which is this has got no entries okay now we have to post the invoice for 1000 and see how this can be offset against the down payment which is made all right Should be no tax, right? Sorry. Let's remove the tax. Okay, now it's removed. Right. Now this transaction will be posted to. Okay, let me just the default account account. Okay. Now posting is done. Okay, this is the one, right? Okay, this is a posting. Let us check what is the GL account it is posted to. Double click and see this the default account account. Okay, let me just update this. This is let me just enlarge this. Okay, this whole transaction is about may put a heading here down payment postings posting the line it and here is invoice posting invoice posting let me show you how it look like Voice posting will be something like this. We have two accounts. Oh, sorry, not this one. This. Okay. Let me just enlarge it a bit. Yeah. Height is thousand. Okay, so I get more area. Well, let me go down here. Okay, and I need one more account for the sales. The sales account. What is my sales account? Okay, it's this. This one is my sales account. Okay, I paste it here. Right. Now, once I do the invoice posting, that will be normal. Thousand will be debited. I put like this here. And thousand will be credited here right okay this is normal there's nothing different from the normal postings this is what we call invoice posting so how are we going to offset this invoice posting against the 200 because what the customer has to pay is only 800 because he's already paid a 200 as a down payment so let's see how we can do this. Right, go to incoming payment. Choose the bank account. The balance of 800 to come, right? Choose the customer account. Sorry, not this one. Delete 
like this so that I can see home. Let's see how customer B. Amount is 800, right? The balance. First out of 1,200 is paid as down payment. So the balance of 800 to be collected. Process open items. See this? This is the document, right? I clear off the cash discounts. The last document we created. Double click this and okay. I need to show you one more thing. Let me show you. bank account 800 and uh, open item is this just note this special gear right now it's empty isn't it so when I process now I, I can select this 1000 let me just clear this off so there's a balance of 200 right 800 is applied against a thousand now I need to look for my down payment which I made earlier and then select it together so that I can offset this balance 200 but I can't see the down payment here the 200 is not displayed here you know why you need to do something go back here right here coming again need to enter the special deal indicator so that you can see the transactions 800 this is normal GL account of prices the one you see the special GL indicator this is where you have to mention the seven down payment receive click ok to seven click ok Seven, yep. Yeah. Or you can directly key in. No problem. So what it means is that now he will show all the special GL transactions also. You see the stick mark. This will show the open items, standard open items. Now I process. You can see the two hundred somewhere here. See here. Yeah. yeah. This is the special GL transaction. The down payment that we made so what I have to do here now I clear this off first I select this this is the invoice I posted and I also select the down payment so it becomes zero not as on become zero only then you can post it the amount that I'm paying is only 800 but that is added up to this to become thousand and offset against this thousand year that's how it works okay so now I simulate I need to enter the due date right that's why it's in blue in color I'll simulate again now it's gone now it's simulate it's displaying a warning message that says enter okay all good cash in bank I have posted 800 to cash in the bank and this is the customer down payment okay that is added up so you will match against uh, 1000 to clear off the customer outstanding invoice Is that clear? Before I post, let me just show you the customer line items. ABL 5N. Alright, now. You cannot see the 200 here. Let me just choose all items also can. Open items. Let's see the open items. You can see the invoice here. 
but the 200 is not displayed here because of the special jail transaction the 200 is a down payment right in order to display that here you have to choose these special jail transactions then you run it now you can see it here and this column here as meaning special jail indicator is showing 7 because we created this 200 using the special jail of 7 remember alright just want to show you before post now I'm going to post it enter now post it let us refresh this see what happens see the document 12 is gone you need to select all you can see it it has come down here where is 12 this is a 12 right 1000 is here okay the special GL transaction will also come down here these two because it's settled on each other this is how you settle I mean you this is how you uh, use the down payment made by the customer to offset against the outstanding invoice this column here it shows a special GL good what has happened now is ok let me just illustrate here using this when you make the payment invoice payment what will happen is the bank account is debited let me enlarge the view first ok where is the bank account copy this bank account will be debited by 800 okay and uh, this customer account will be credited by 800 okay then then remember the down payment made this account will be reversed out I will show you how we reversed out this account will be reversed out by posting a debit entry here for 200 and the amount will be this amount will be moved to here the offsetting entry is posted here 200 ok now you see the picture how the all the accounts are cleared the bank remains 800 right but the total of the bank is already you have posted 200 alright that is during the down payment posting by doing invoice payment 800 is posted here and this account is reversed the balance is moved from here to here so this plus this become 1000 and clearing of this let me just show you the account go to here Okay, let me just show this account 2007 
all items see 200 this is the original 200 on the credit side initially it was on the credit side and this 200 is posted now so the balance is zero it's totally reversed up this is the payment posting invoice payment posting and this one this 200 it's a down payment posting okay you can zoom in and make sure it's a down payment all right you just this account is much better and go to here there's a down payment right see the special gear remember this document is posted during the down payment okay when you zoom in you just highlight this and press this and this one is what the payment invoice payment you press this is a payment we made right 200 comes from here and uh, from down payment 800 comes from cash both offset this thousand all right so I have proven this now let's go and use this check this 2003 how the postings look like oops oh, plenty of transactions here all right then we have to look for our transaction thousand here this transaction is here the invoice posting is here and uh, down payment posting of 200 should be one of these Yeah, this one. Give me a second, okay. All right, I have a better idea. We put filter by posting date, which is today, so that we don't see a lot of transactions. The view will be limited to only the documents post today. See, now we can see very less documents. So these are the two documents that we need to look into. This is the original invoice amount ending with 12 right? And this is the payment, payment document we posted. Let me just prove it to you. Okay, here. Alright. See so this plus this is 1000 right? Okay. This two is shown here on this side here, 1000. It won't show the breakdown of uh, 800 and 200 it will show the summation only okay this match against this becomes zero okay all right and the bank account let us check the bank account now all right we have 800 and 200 just ignore this 20 is because of the previous transaction we have two transactions 200 refers to this 200 the down payment 200 and 800 is that we received during the payment post, invoice payment posting okay 800 plus 200 plus 1000 that's about it